Welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. So in this video, I am explaining two statements that are break statement and continuous statement in Python. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of these two statements that is break statement and continue statement. So to understand uh, what is the use of a break statement, you should understand what is the annoying while loop first. So I explained this annoying while loop uh, while explaining while statement also. Anyway, I'm going to guess, uh, just give a brief idea because if you know that uh, what is annoying while loop and that is what is the infinite loop, then only you can understand why we use break. So infinite loop means, so it keeps on asking for your input it doesn't come out of the loop itself you can't come out of the loop itself it keeps on looping every time so to come out of that loop you need a break statement to come out of that infinite loop you need a break statement for example first we'll understand the annoying while loop and what is the problem here then we'll understand what why we can use break statement how we can use break statement like that okay for example see here the code is Initially, I'm going to uh, create a variable name. Initially, the name will be the empty string. Initially, the name is empty. Right? So, now I will take a while loop. It will while loop. It will ask. It will compare the name. Whatever the name you are going to enter, it will compare the name with the string your name. See? I am telling it is going to compare the your name with a string your name that is a string because you can observe here the your name is a string that is enclosed within the quotes right if you type your name other than the string your name it keeps on asking for you to enter the name again and again for example please enter your name yeah I will enter my name it will ask the input function it will ask the input from the user it will take the input from me and it will store the name what i am given in the variable name and it will compare that value that is in the variable name with the string your name for example my name what i have given is vishesh vishesh is not equal to your name because it's a string vishesh is not equal to a string your name again it will ask for you to type a name See, first it will ask for type a name, a1 I will enter, a1, whether a1 is equal to your name string, no. Again it will ask for you to enter a name, I will enter Albert, Albert is equal to string your name, no. Again it will ask for you to enter the name. It will keep on asking for you to enter the name until you give the string your name as the input, then only it will come out of the loop and it will print thank you. See. I, I given them my input as your name that is string your name it will come out and it will print thank you right unless you give unless you give the string your name it never come out of the loop it never come out of the loop it will keep on asking for your name this is the infinite loop so to come out of this infinite loop I can use break statement Suppose if you don't give the string your name, it keeps on asking for you to enter the name. But I want you, I want to come out of that. How to do that? How to do that? How to do that means by by using a break statement. By break, by using a break statement. See, we'll see this. So while true. So this is this is a shortcut of getting the program execution to break out of a while loop class early. How to do that? If the execution reaches a break statement, it will immediately exit the while loop class. In a code, a break statement is simply contains the break keyword. So if you use the break statement, when the program sees the break statement, break as the name suggests, it will come out of the loop. It will break it and it will come out. For example, see the code while true, it is always true. The true is the expression, it always evaluates to the value true. So yeah, while true, yes, it's always true. It will go inside the loop. It will ask for your name. You will give the name. 
you will give the you will assume that you will give the name vishesh if name is equal to your name vishes is equal to your the string your name no false then what it will do it will break it will come out it is not printing thank you uh, thank you there is a break statement sorry 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 there is a break statement there is a break statement so it will come out and it will print thank you okay yeah again it may ask for you to enter the name okay again you will enter the another name means again it will break and again it will come out right in this way i can come out of the loop for example see the first line creates a infinite loop you know that the program execution will, will always enter the loop you know that just like before exam before same example it will ask for your name now however while the execution still inside the while loop if statement gets executed same thing same thing what i explained it will take the name if the condition is true the break statement is run and the execution moves out of the loop see if the condition is true yes name if the name what you have given is equal to your name it will break and it will print thank you if the name what you have given is not equal to this string your name again it will ask again it will ask again it will ask but the thing is once you enter the string your name it will break and it will print thank you so when whenever it receives the break it will come out of the uh, loop and it will print thank you see if the condition is true the request is done the execution moves out of the loop to print thank you otherwise see if the statement is the condition is false the break statement is skipped which put the execution at the end of the while loop right so end of the while loop means again it will go to the starting point okay at this point the program execution jumps back to the start of the while statement to recheck the condition so again it will recheck the condition until you enter the string your name it will come out of the loop by using you by using a break statement getting my point so break statement what you have to understand here so break statement is mainly used to come out of the loop until when the when it sees when it sees the break statement it will come out of the loop just understand that okay so otherwise it keeps on asking okay this is the flow chart see this is the same flow chart so what i have already explained this is the flow chart it will take the name as empty string if the name is true so false see if it's false if name is not equal to what is the what is the string you are given your name is name is not equal to no sorry if name is not equal to the string your name false it will print thank you and it will end suppose if it is equal see it will print it and it, it will again break it and it will come out okay again if it is false it keeps on asking this actually this statement won't necessary actually okay when it's true it will break it and it will come out and it will print thank you and it will end okay now next continue state so like break statement continue statement is also inside uh, also used inside the loop same same continue statement is also used inside the loop but the only difference is as uh, it is exactly opposite to the break statement continue statement will uh, continue the right continue the execution from the starting again instead of coming out of the loop whenever it sees the continue statement it will start the execution from the beginning it will start the execution from the beginning for example see here while true this is a infinite loop it is always true so it will print who are you so it will you will give the name it will ask for the input you will give the name 
so it will take the name suppose whatever the name you have entered is not equal to jo is not equal to jo right so it will again go to the beginning of the statement because we are we have used continue statement whenever it sees continue statement what it should do it should go to the beginning of the loop it should go to the beginning of the loop again it will go to the beginning of the loop it will ask again who are you it will again take the input if name is not equal to jo again it will go to the beginning of the loop if the name is equal to jo right yes if name is equal to jo what it will happen it will go, go it will come to the next statement hello jo what is your password it will ask like that so so continue statement whenever it uh, sees the continue statement the execution moves to the first first statement okay that is to the beginning so see here this is the output so who are you it is asking for who are you i am fine thanks who are you who are you so jo you are giving the output as jo then it will ask what is the password if the if the output is not jo again it will keep on asking who are you who are you who are you okay then again what is the password if the password is swordfish right it will break that means what it should do break means what break means what it should come out break means it should come out break means it should come out break means it should come out so it will come out and it will print access granted if the password is not equal to swordfish what happens again again it will keep on asking for the name again it will keep on asking for the password if the password matches swordfish it will it will break it will come out of the loop it will print access granted okay so this is just a flow chart so one more important thing here is other than boolean values true or false you can use you can also use other values to represent your boolean values for example you can use zero zero represents false 0.0, .0 represents false and empty string also considered as false so what i am trying to say is in uh, in python is not always the case that you should use true and false boolean values instead of falsc you can use 0 also 0, 0.0 also and the empty string so all are considered as false while the all the other values are considered true 0 0, 0.0 and the empty string is considered as false while other all the other values are considered true this is just a example for example while not name so while not name right print enter your name it will ask for the name so here see the not name what is the not name name is the entry string not name means it is a false right well not name whatever the name you are going to give that is not a empty string so that is not a empty string so so in this way you can use the other values also false not always evaluates to false okay number of guests again if the number of guests is 0, 0.0 0, 0.0 is what false it will ask it will ask for your input again if the number of guests is 0, 0.0 0, 0 is false if it's false it will ask for the number of guests again so in simple words for false you can use either 0 0, 0 and empty string then this will be considered as false in python Oh, that's it guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video